Hello and welcome, my name is Jan and today we're going to learn what tofu, mofu and bofu means but also more importantly how can you use this in your business and I'm going to show you a B2B example uh, in a workflow diagram that shows how a business may apply this and briefly stated the top of funnel tofu is where you'd consider lead generation uh, middle of funnel M O F U mofu is where you would work on prospect generation a little bit more closer to the source of the sale which comes out in bofu bottom of funnel where you actually move them to engage and take some kind of action so let's get into it so here we are, welcome, and uh, once again, we're going to talk about the tofu, mofu, bofu structure, or TOF, MOF, BOF, there's different uh, uh, sort of uh, shortening versions of these guys, but ultimately, top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel, as mentioned. So here's a, B, a B2B example, where, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to walk you through this very quickly. Uh, there is a download for this as well. Uh, in the description area of the YouTube post. And if you're listening on the podcast, uh, just head on over to my YouTube channel, uh, John Rognrud. And um, <clears throat> let's see here. Okay, so step one in the tofu, top of funnel. Somebody performs a Google keyword search or they see a social media post. They might then go to read that blog post that uh, you're pr presenting as a informational piece. So it's top of funnel, it's an awareness builder. And maybe there's a... Uh, download of a white paper, access to a webinar, etc. And ultimately you get that lead in, right? We talked about the lead at the top of the funnel. They enter an email campaign and they receive the first email and they may open it or they don't open it. If they don't open it, we want a behavioral targeting based on that click pattern where they receive a second email with an invitation to the, the say, uh, VSL or webinar. Uh, and again, we can break it down further if they open or they do engage, etc. Um, we may even solicit some early engagement here to, to get a free trial. But we're not trying to push too hard at this level. Top of Funnel is intended to drive awareness and build uh, uh, the concept of nurturing based on the lead generation scheme, right? Then you move into middle of funnel where they actually land on a specific page that has ten testimonials and reviews and uh, builds up your brand a little more. Um, again, the CTA may be there for a free trial, but it's a softer push, right? Because uh, again, depending on how that traffic was established, and we're kind of using the one, two, three layers right now, um, you want to build that uh, essentially affinity with your audience for your brand, for your product, for your services. So uh, once they land on that page, they may engage directly and continue. And hey, they might just engage with a free trial at that point, or they don't really engage that hard. So you do have their email, uh, as mentioned, from the top of funnel. So this is where they would receive a third or fourth email with a case study, right? Case studies are great showcases how you approach things, uh, what your brand has done for others. That coupled with t testimonials, uh, it's a surefire way to make sure that you're positioned well, right? Then as you continue on, so if they open up for a free trial for a particular service uh, or they engage with a calendar to get a booking, then they move into BOFU, which is bottom of the funnel. Now they have really signal uh, an intent to purchase or engage at a much deeper level. Uh, this is where we call it a highly qualified lead. So in the middle of funnel, you might consider that an MQL, which is a marketing qualified lead in the B2B parlance. Uh, at the bottom of funnel, this is where you move into a sales qualified lead, uh, where they really signal, as I mentioned, an intent to purchase and maybe even get a quote, right? So uh, the free trial may uh, have uh, been established, as I mentioned, through the two layers before, uh, but now you may want to position your enterprise sale here, right? And this is where they're contacted by a salesperson. And ultimately, through that calendar and through that connection, uh, you have the ability for your firm or your organization uh, to build a much deeper connection and a sales profile uh, for your ICP, which is the um, uh, you know perfect client profile, right? So this is just a simple model but it is one that is used in the marketplace and one that really leverages 
the concept of tofu, mofu, and bofu. Now, we can take this a step further into the ad side, right? So uh, we run a lot of ads at the agency, uh, both at Meta and Google, and YouTube, shopping, search, etc., uh, where we structure uh, campaigns and ad groups, ad sets in face uh, Facebook uh, world, uh, to match up with this level of communication. It uh, allows us to easily organize campaigns and, uh, and ad groups this way, but it also allows us to have a very simple way to report and uh, organize overall account information, uh, including budgeting, etc. right? So very often uh, we tend to apply a 70 uh, or maybe 60-40 rule or a 70, 15, 15, so 70% of budget goes to top of funnel, 15 to the middle, and 15 to the bottom, right? Um, it's a great way to look at this uh, uh, architecture, if you will, from not only a content messaging perspective, but from a overall organizational perspective. Um, we've gone in and looked at so many different accounts, and it is a, you know, the technical term is messy as hell. Um, and we don't want that uh, because not only is that hard to manage, but it's also not something that uh, we've found the algorithms really uh, enjoy for maximum performance. So uh, just wanted to take you through this today, uh, published uh, out another video that speaks to this on the various social media channels today. Uh, this is a more specific example here on the YouTube and podcast. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to chaosmap.com. Uh, there's a contact there um, if you want more information. And hey, uh, if you like these videos and this particular one, I'd love it if you share, like it, comment, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and the podcast. Uh, the more that we can help, the better, right? And when you send us some love, the algorithms love that. And so I appreciate you stopping by, uh, watching and listening today, and we'll catch you on the next one.